Hey everyone, I'm Sue Daly and I want to introduce you to Gabby O'Neill today. She co-designed the Abbey fabric with me. Now Gabby, I call her Gabby um, because it's easy <laughs> and I can remember that. She has been working with me for quite some time now as a graphic designer and has shown so much talent in many, many areas. And when we, um, she was helping me um, with my digital fabric, uh, well not my digital fabric, but creating the digital versions of my fabric um, you know for, for a while now and she started dabbling in doing a little bit of stuff for herself and she um, created these little Abbey drawings and then we decided to collaborate together and make the Abbey collection so we pulled some um, antique fabrics from some of my um, collection that I have and we uh, re reproduced those and together we created this awesome collection Abbey. So um, I'd like to show you through the main print which was um, a lot of fun to create actually. It features offset little Abbeys and they all fit on a six inch square so you can fussy cut these out and then you'll end up with a five inch finished block working with your projects. Or you can fussy cut them in different shapes if you're EPPing, um, whatever suits you basically. Um, and there's a few different motives. Um, one, she has a butterfly in her hair. One, she's got a stack of Christmas presents. She's on a swing. She's got a suitcase. She's dancing in the rain. She she's has a little, little She has a little dog. Um, and a lot of these motives, I guess, were kind of um, inspired by my childhood in some ways. Like I would always go um, and visit my grandmother, which is why we have the suitcase. I've always had a pet dog. Um, I've always loved playing in the I rain. I haven't seen the butterfly in your hair yet, though. No. <laughs> But I do, I do often have the messy, messy the bun. bun. We have a messy bun somewhere here at the back. <laughs> so I guess that's a bit of me in there too. Yeah. So it's really cute. But the other thing that we want to mention too is that even though we have this little Abby who's really cute, um, the rest of the collection stands alone. So if you don't like Abby, you can just take it out and yep. you've got a standalone collection. Which, and the other thing that was really important to me, and I think also to Gabby, that we were on trend with the colour palette. So right now what's trending heavily in, in homewares and home decor are these colours. Mm -hmm. And I'm finding that there's so many young mums want to coordinate the, the children's nursery or the little baby's nursery or, or even a teenager's room with what's going on in the rest of the house. So that was really important for us to get that right, that the, the colour palette for this. And I think we've succeeded. Um, our comments that we've had have been yeah. awesome. And the other thing I think Gabby wants to talk to you about is the fact that it's not just a female collection. Yeah, um, I wanted to um, steer away from a collection that was too like young or too juvenile. Sue and I wanted it to be appropriate for many ages. So you can actually pull out a few prints if you want to make some boys apparel or something for little men in your life. Um, a friend of ours, Mickey May, made these samples. So we've got some little bibs and overalls. So these use the raindrop print. But this this, yes, yeah, so that comes in black, grey, and we've got a blue here as well. Yeah. But there's also a few low volume text prints, which comes in a light grey and blue, uh, black on cream. And then also these stripes would also look great, I think. I can imagine these overalls in that yeah. stripe and that would be really yeah. cute. So as you can see, we've thought long and hard about this collection because we wanted to appeal to the wider audience, mm. whether it be male, female, child, teenager, cushions on the lounge at home, yeah. whatever. So um, it's and just it won't awesome. date either. I think yeah. the colours are quite timeless. Yeah. Um, the other um, thing is if you're not a, you know, you don't want to create a quilt, these are little um, craft bags. This pattern is by Veronica um, Appleyard and she's created these little project bags. So they have the clear plastic on the front and she's used the Abbey with the Sue Daily uh, lace zippers across here. They're a really simple um, project to do so there's so many things you can use this collection for and we're together I think we're so proud of it yeah. and um, and I think that you're going to enjoy working in it as much as what's well. your favorite print my favorite print is this one and also this one <laughs> you can't and, pick one <laughs> and and the Abbey's I think they're my favorites um, and I think yours are different yeah um, I my favorite is this text print 
I think it's a really great low volume blender and there's lots of things going on. There's old postcards, there's music notes, passages out of books. I think it's really great for a bit of texture in your project. Yeah, yeah. And it's um, so, um, lots of people are using text prints yeah. right now. Yeah, and then oh, maybe the grey main floral. We'll see. Great minds think alike. Yeah, so th this flower was taken from um, one of Sue's reproduction fabrics that she has in her collection. And then I kind of mixed it up a bit and put a put a paint texture in the back. So that's what the collection was about. I wanted to take reproduction fabric, mix it with modern, and do something a bit different. Yeah, and just mix it up a little yeah. bit so it's not you know same old same old. We just wanted to have a collection that was a little bit different. You know, and I think we've we've managed to do that. And with all the support projects that we've created, and and Gabby's um, created some um, some patterns as well as myself and Shannon Mende. Um, I think we've got such a good assortment of things that you can use um, and aside of you know other patterns that you may have in your collection or you may want to purchase but it, it'll lend itself to anything even dresses like you know clothing and and things I think mm. some of these prints will work well um, so if you're working in Abbey we'd really love to see it so please make sure um, that you tag us you can tag Sue you can tag me I'm Gabrielle Neal Design Studio Sue is Sue Daily Designs um, and use the hashtag Abby Fabric as well and that way we can re um, share your stuff and let everyone know what's happening and I think it'll be really great to yeah, see, really. see what everyone's doing. Yeah, we're excited when we get pictures and we see things that people yeah. have made with our things and uh, particularly our fabric and, uh, and I love it when I see my patterns out there too. So I think that um, I think we've, we've achieved what we set out to and I hope you enjoyed as much as we do and we look forward to seeing what you've got to show us.